enjoy Burgundy wine? Did you know that exquisite wine direct from Burgundy, France doesn't have to be expensive? Uh, yeah, choose a Burgundy wine. I, I, always, I always like to start by saying, um, you know, if you're into Burgundy, you've probably had this kind of experience. You go to a restaurant and you order a bottle of Volnay and you think, oh my God, this is so fabulous. Look at this, this is, you know, I'm gonna go tomorrow and buy a Volnay down at my wine shop. So you go to get up next to the day, you go down to the wine shop, you buy a, uh, another Volnay, an Appalachian Volnay, and you bring it home and it's like, not at all the same. It's like, as a matter of fact, it's very disappointing and it's not cheap, you know? So, you know, so you get scared off um, it, with Burgundy. It's like, you, um, you just, you know, unless you, unless you've got some sort of guidance, there's no real way to go about doing this. Again, we've said there are good producers and there are bad producers. We drink producers and not labels. So, you know, it, 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 maybe the problem was thinking, oh my God, this is a good Volnay. Maybe you should have been thinking, oh my God, this Volnay by so-and-so was really good. Maybe I should go find another one from this producer. You know, so that's that's probably the fault to start with. Rather than drinking the Appalachian, you should be drinking the producer. Um, and then also, the, of course, um, there's the idea of the, the famous Appalachian versus the lesser known Appalachian. You're going to have much better value in the lesser not known Appalachian from a good producer. But then, of course, the famous the famous Appalachian from a great producer could be worth the money. You know, it's, it's it all has to do with your means and it, it's really a question of how to avoid disappointment. That's the that's the the, um, the 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 question here. And really, ultimately, you just need to pull a lot of corks, and you need some sort of concierge service. I mean, essentially, you need somebody who's going to to you know direct you. You know, who finds you know somebody who has a similar palate to yours. And, and can sort of guide you. And that's what we've always said. I mean, we, no, what we do at burgundywine.com is not necessarily for everybody, but for the people who have, a, a, you know, the palate we have, you know, it's, we, it's you, you, you can't miss. So how to choose a burgundy wine, it's, you know, it's, it's tricky, but it's essentially you, again, back to the mantra, you know, drink producers and not labels. Hello. I'm Dennis Sherman from BurgundyWine.com. We're based in Burgundy and have been for over 35 years. We specialize in small production, hidden gem winemakers, and we deliver their wines directly to your door at prices that will convince you when we say Great Burgundy does not have to be expensive. If you can't come to Burgundy, we'll bring Burgundy to you. So join us at BurgundyWine.com, where shipping is always included on case quantities. <laughs>